You've been told that making a music is all about your network and that if you can just make the right connections, then your career will take off. But what you haven't been told is that you don't have to make those connections because you've already got them. What's up, y'all? I'm Travis Ferentz, a Grammy-nominated recording engineer with almost 20 years of experience. On this channel, I'm trying to help music industry newcomers and veterans alike overcome the challenges of building a career and setting them up for success in this crazy industry. Today, I wanna to chat about why networking is more about time than it is about people. So let's lay out a scenario here that we've probably all been in. You're at an industry event with a stack of business cards and you're determined to meet the people that are going to change your life. You spend the whole night dropping your elevator pitch on complete strangers and lurking in the orbit of successful people you recognize and hope for an opportunity to jump in and tell them about your music or your work. Ultimately, you leave the event exhausted and a bit defeated, convinced that nobody will let you into their circle or give you a single opportunity. What you don't realize though is that you were probably one of the few people there that were actually talking about work. If you were flying the wall and could hear the conversations that you were interrupting with your business cards, you'd probably hear a lot of stuff like, remember freshman year of college when, or how was your daughter's first birthday party? Or remember the first record we did with so-and-so? All these people that you are convinced are keeping you on the outside of the circle are just friends hanging out. They aren't conspiring to keep you out of the industry. They're just doing what they've done since they started out as interns or met on the first day of class. This is what no one tells you about networking. Real networking is making friends and relationships, not cold emails and business cards. Opportunity in this industry takes time to develop. It's a bit of a rising tide. A crop of new people start out cutting their teeth, barely scraping by to pay rent. They all go through the hard stuff together and they all slowly break through together. They know each other, they trust each other, and they all in turn elevate each other. Think about what you say when someone asks you to recommend somebody for something. You don't say the best drummer in town is Jim, go to his website and hit him up. You say, my friend Steve would be perfect for this. I will connect you guys. Why? Because you know and trust Steve and you want to see Steve win as much as he wants to see you win. The reality is that this industry is about friendships. They might be formed growing up or in school. They might be formed at the office water cooler or making a record together for weeks on end. Regardless of how it happens, these friendships are the basis of your network and the connections that will actually help your career. Remember, this industry revolves around trust and there are few people that you trust more than your friends. So next time you're frustrated and feel that you're being left on the outside of the circle, look around at the people you're starting this journey out with. The people you're grabbing beers with or having over for dinner. These are the people that are going to make up real career spanning connections for you. One day, decades down the line, after interns become hit producers and admin assistants become record execs, you'll all just be friends at a Grammy party reminiscing about the early days while the new kids in town run around trying to figure it all out. So next time you're frustrated by networking, just remember, making music with your friends is way more fun. This was from episode 89 of the podcast. If you enjoyed that, then check out the full episode here, which includes my interview with producer, songwriter, and mixer John Velasquez, where we get into his approach to production and how the rising tide of his network has helped shape his career.